the operator observed that the inclinometer in the platform indicated the ladder was at approximately 71 degrees of elevation. The operator told the other three firefighters that the platform was too high above the roof for them to safely step out, so he wanted to lower the platform. Firefighters located on the ground, as well as the survivors located in the platform, reported hearing a sound like metal scraping on concrete, followed by a sound described as a loud metallic bang or thud as the platform was lowered over the parapet wall. Note, it is theorized that these sounds were caused by the lifting eye scraping across the top of the parapet wall, followed by the platform dropping down onto the parapet wall after the lifting eye cleared the top surface. After lowering the platform, the operator observed that the platform was resting on top of the parapet wall and told the other three firefighters in the bucket to stay in the bucket as he wanted to lift it off of the wall. The platform operator reported that the platform did not move as he feathered the elevation control in an attempt to lift the platform. The operator attempted to feather the control again, but the platform did not move. Thinking the platform was slow in responding due to the inherent delay, the operator held steady pressure on the control. Note, the operator did not realize that the lifting eye located on the underside of the platform was caught on the inner surface of the parapet wall and that attempts to elevate the platform were causing the lifting eye to be forced tighter against the inner surface of the parapet wall. Following the incident, scrape marks were evident on the aluminum lifting eye mounted under the platform on the left side.